In this animation, we'll be examining the use of the basic math instructions available for PLC programming. We will begin with a look at the basic math instructions and how they are used. We will then move on to a practical example of these items in use. Here we have the Add, Subtract, Multiply and Divide function blocks. Each of these instructions has three inputs. The Source, Source B, and destination fields. The source and source B fields can be populated with an input rack location, a file address, an instruction field, or a fixed value. The destination field for these instructions can be populated with an output rack location, a file address, or an instruction field. We will now move on to a practical application to demonstrate how these blocks can be used. Given the input shown, determine what the value at output rack 4 will be once the momentary contact push button connected to input rack 3 bit 0 is pressed. The multiply instruction will take the data at input rack 1 and multiply it by the fixed value 9. The result will be stored to bit file address B30. The divide instruction will take the data now stored in bit file address B30 and divide it by 5. The result of this calculation will be stored to the bit file address B31. Lastly, the add instruction will add the fixed value of 32 to the value stored in bit file address B31. The result of that calculation will be sent to output 4, which is connected to the bar LED display. With the program loaded and running, the I1 data is visible to the multiply source field. Without connectivity on the rung, the value is not being processed. When the I30 contacts close, the multiply instruction stores the resulting value of 180 in binary format in the file address B30. The divide instruction then takes this value, performs the division, and stores the result of 36 to the file address B31, again in binary format. The add instruction then sums the contents of B31 with the fixed value of 32 and sends it to output 4. The final result of 68 appears on the LED display that's connected to output rack 4.